In this video for Monash staff, we're going to look at activity completion. Previous learning management systems have called activity completion conditional release, um, or at least some of the functions have that purpose. Let's have a look in Moodle. The first step is to enable completion tracking across your whole unit. Then we need to turn on um, activity completion or set the appropriate activity completion in the settings pages. There's another settings that we use uh, in the same place which is called restrict access. So it's kind of a two and three need to work together. And then there's an optional one which is the activity completion report which we'll show you as well. Okay, in your Moodle unit, first thing you need to do is go to your settings block and go to edit settings. And this is the settings for your entire page. You may have changed things like the, uh, the format for the topics beforehand. Right down the bottom of that page, there is student progress. You need to change that to enabled. Sometimes it will already be enabled, but you need to check that. Um, completion tracking begins on enrollment. You can leave unchecked. And let's say save changes. Once you have completion tracking enabled, um, you'll be able to set up these checkboxes down the side. And that's the first step in creating that conditional release effect. I'm going to go into my uh, peer control discussion in the edit settings. And this is the settings page um, for the forum. Down the bottom of that settings page, there's two boxes that we can work on. I'm going to use activity completions here. And the option for completion tracking allows me three options. Either don't um, indicate the activity completion, which means that checkbox won't be there at all. Students can individually or manually mark it as complete. Or we can set up our own conditions. Depending on what you're in, whether it's a forum or, or a file or uh, any other the different activities or resources, these options here are going to be different because you can do different things. Most of them will have the require view. However, other ones will have things like posts or entries um, or require a grade as well. In this case, because it's forum, I'm going to say that uh, the students must make at least one post and you can change that number. Once that's done, I'm going to scroll down and save and return to unit. Notice that for this controlled uh, peer control discussion, this is now a grade out checkbox, which tells uh, you that that's one that is already programmed in, that has had a condition set to it. It's not one that I can manually check off like these ones. Okay, the third step is to find something to control. I'm gonna just drag in a file and uh, use that as uh, kind of my bait, if you like. Um, until they've made that one post, they can't get this file is the idea. I need to turn my editing on and drag the file in. Okay, let's have a look at the settings for this page. So I'm going to use the update icon. Again, right down the bottom, or almost right down the bottom, in the restrict access stage. Notice that there's actually quite a lot of options. You could restrict access by date or um, grade condition, but we're using activity completion in this case. You need to select the thing that you would like to be the condition. And we use the peer control discussion from before. And I'm saying that it must be marked complete. Notice there are other options here though. You could have it that it uh, must not be marked complete. Which means that you're providing something until another thing is completed and then this thing will disappear. Take note of the options in before activity can be accessed. You can either hide it completely so that they don't know that this file is even there, or you could show it grayed out. They can't access it, but they know that it's there and they've got a message that tells them why they can't get to it yet. I'm gonna use that one. And then save and return to unit. I'll go ahead and turn editing off to make it a little bit easier to understand. And then you can see that that Fremantle prison document is greyed out and there's my restriction uh, message underneath that, telling them that they need to complete that peer control discussion. You can use more than one activity um, 
to restrict a file by or another activity by. And you could set up a sequence so that it almost cascades down in a unit if you wanted to. You can set this at the file or activity level, but you can also set it in each section. Let's turn editing on again. And we're going to use that very first edit summary option. And there's my restrict access settings again. And again, I could use the activity completion condition if I wanted to. I'm going to cancel that though. Last thing we'll look at now is the activity completion report. So let's open the navigation block, which is where all reports belong. Underneath the name of the unit, which should be uh, highlighted for you, usually the second option down says reports. And then you can go to activity completion. Note that there are actually quite a lot of reports already. The activity completion one is quite a handy one though. You should explore the other ones too. And you can see um, that it's a nice sort of checkbox. I'm the only one who's done anything here and you can quickly see what activities I've done following the columns from the top there. So in a normal unit you'll get a nice scatter um, of data. Now this can be downloaded in an Excel format um, for further manipulation.